Ah, my friend. Welcome to paradise. I am Baryonyx. No, wait, my friend. You leave too soon. Look around. Ah, take it all in. Yes, yes. Believe me, this won't last forever. Alas, only 80 million years. Come, come closer. We will talk, you and I. Oh, but you are, how do you say, freaked out by my strangeness? My claws disturb you? My long, tapered mouth? I know you are as fascinated by me being a fish eater as I am. You see, with these, I can scoop up my fish dinner from the water. <laughs> and with the 90 short teeth I have in my mouth, I can eat it up. Yum. Yes, I know, I am very unique. There were not many of us. So come, we will soak in the sun of this paradise I live in. Smell the perfume of the very first flowering plants. Ah! See the first butterflies. Ah, yes, that's it. Come a little closer. You begin to understand why I love it here, yes? Fine. Then go, go! There are other lungfish in the Cretaceous Swamp, you know? Just leave me be. But know this. You hurt me. Deeply. And now, I must stun myself. Ah! Ooh, don't sneak up on me like that. Give me a heart attack. Let me introduce myself. I am the Bipiaosaurus. And yes, I have feathers. I was flying there a second ago, looking for some plants to eat. Did you see? Okay, okay, well, maybe it was more like I fell out of the tree. But I did feel lift on my wings just before I hit the ground. Hard. Did you hear something? Because I definitely heard something. Ah! Oh, I do say, excuse the interruption. You don't have to hide. Really now, I'm the Microceratus, one of the smallest dinosaurs ever. What can I possibly do to you? It should have been named Chicken, not after Bai Piao, the city in China where they found the Bai Piaosaurus fossil. I am not a chicken. Just careful. Besides, would a chicken try to fly again? Huh? It's just mind over matter. I can do this. <laughs> Whoa, that's a long way down. Okay, so my feathers aren't made for flying. They're more like downy fibers, but they're still feathers, right? And I'm not super huge or anything. I'm only a little bit taller and heavier than a man. All I have to do is think positive. I am positive! <laughs> Scared you, didn't I? Well, that's because I'm an Afro-Venator. That means African hunter. Pretty impressive, huh? But don't be worried. I won't hunt you. Watch me hunt that Jobaria. He won't see me coming and he'll be so scared. Oh, he's gone. Well, that's okay. I'm not that hungry. It wasn't like I was going to eat him in front of you. There really is no trick to hunting. You just have to look. Take that Chubaria, for example. He's huge. Very easy to spot. Perfect. But you know, you don't need to be 10 meters long with a mouthful of sharp teeth and three claws on each hand to be a hunter like me. For instance, you could hunt to find where in the world we are right now. Africa, that's right. There was also a clue in my name. Did you get that? Afro, meaning I'm from what's now known as Africa. 
Or you could hunt for fossils, like Paul Sereno, who found a nearly complete fossil of me in Niger in 1993. What a find! Someone who hunts for fossils is called a paleontologist. Ooh. Please excuse me. Gotcha! Come back and see me next week. I will teach you how to use your nails to comb your hair. Well, hello there. I've never seen you before. Looking around the late Jurassic Forest, are we? Looking for a big dinosaur? Maybe like me? Well, you've come to the right place. I'm Diplodocus. Diplodocus. You found me. I'm kind of hard to miss, actually. Hmm, <laughs> I smell something yummy. Is it in here? Sigh. As you can see, I'm pretty big and it's hard for me to get into tight places, but that's why I have this really long neck. I love eating plants, all kinds of them. That's why they call me a herbivore. But being this big doesn't always make it easy. Hmm, how can I describe how big I am? Have you seen my herd? They're easy to spot. Imagine, they're all big like me. I've been looking for them all afternoon. It's like they've been hiding from me. You know what else comes in handy? My front legs. See how they're shorter than the back ones? Having these types of legs helps me keep my balance. Watch! I also have these cool pig-like teeth that grow forward. They help me strip all sorts of plants and swallow them whole. Mmm, whatever that is, it smells so yummy. Hey, maybe that's my herd. Hey, what's the... Surprise! And stay out! Ah, you have come to the late Jurassic period in search of the great and powerful Compsonathus. That's Compsonathus. It's very easy if you practice. Ow! Hey, Bavariosaurus, did you hear what they're saying about me? I am the number one land predator in these islands in the death of sea. It's true. No dinosaur gets past me. Why, well, see these legs? They're long and slender, which helps me to run very, very fast. You are so full of hot air. I'm surprised you don't float away. Do you dare insult me, the mighty Gonsonathus? I can eat any lizard, dinosaur, or fish I want. Any one. I was the first complete dinosaur fossil that scientists could study. You, you see? see? Again, Again, I was, I first. was first. Number, Number one. one. Bring in the size chart. Okay, so I'm on the small side. So what? I'm still number one. Excuse me while I go and show our friend why I'm number one. Oh, you think I cannot climb? Well, you are wrong. My bones, they're hollow like a bird's, which means I'm light. And, oh yeah, see this tail? It'll help me stay balanced. You can run, but you can't hide because I am the magnificent Compsonathus! Oh, where'd it go? Aha, found it! How's it going, eh? And welcome to the late Cretaceous period, 70 million years ago. I'm Edmontosaurus. That's Edmontosaurus, eh? I just found the puck so I can keep playing dino hockey with my pal, Eddie. Do you know where I got my name from? It's pretty cool. I was named after the city Edmonton, which is in what's now Alberta in Canada, where I'm from. Check it out, eh? My hands were made for pitching and catching. Eddie and I are practicing before the big game with the rest of our herd. Eh? 
Oh, yeah. I'm the kind of dinosaur that can walk on two legs to get those really hard to reach leaves on trees. And four legs when I'm chasing Eddie. Do you see how long we are? As long as a sailboat. But we're pretty heavy, almost four tons. You're probably wondering how I could eat with a duck bill, eh? Well, I have up to 60 rows of teeth in my cheeks, eh? Our teeth allow us to eat the hardest seeds and conifer needles with no trouble at all. Ugh, I don't eat meat. Only plants go in this mouth. I better get back to practicing. Ugesaurus. Have a good one, eh? All right, team. Here we are in the late Jurassic period, 150 million years ago. You know me. I'm Coach Stegosaurus. You can say my name. Stegosaurus! 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 That's the herbivore spirit? Okay, let's go over our equipment. Get in line. Great, let's see those plates. Now, that's not really enough armor, but they do make the carnivorous dinosaurs think twice about taking a bite out of us. These plates actually let us be warmer or colder, depending on how much we point them at the sun. Hey, an Allosaurus. Let's see those stagomizers. Yes, those stagomizers at the end of our tails are the real deal. Those spikes are up to 1.2 meters long. And we need them where we're from, what is now known as the Midwestern United States. In fact, we're Colorado State Fossil. All right, team. No one's gonna mess with us, right? Stegosaurus! 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 Rah, rah, rah! We're pretty big, the size of a bus. Are you ready, Stegosaurus? That's great, team. Stegosaurus! Stegosaurus! <laughs> Whoa, that was weird. Hi, I'm Torvosaurus, and welcome to the late Jurassic period 144 million years ago. You say my name, Torvosaurus. It means savage lizard. <laughs> going on with my roar box. I'm a theropod, which means I walk on two legs and I eat meat. A meat eater is called a carnivore. I am the largest meat eater in these parts. I'm one of the biggest theropods ever, over 10 meters long. And these thumb claws, they help me hunt for food. I'm from what's now known as the Midwestern United States. Yeehaw! Ooh, 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 ooh. <sighs> <clears throat> me, 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 me. All me. That's better. Now let me try a good one. <laughs> oh yeah, welcome to the late Cretaceous period 70 million years ago. I'm a Gorgosaurus, that's Gorgosaurus. 
Mom! Now, they're gonna think I'm just a kid. I can't wait till I get big. I'm going to be even scarier than my mom over there. Rawr! Cause that's what my name means, Fearsome Lizard. I'm not as tall as she is yet, but one day I'll be nine meters long. I'll be as long as a house. Gorgosaurus like me, Tyrannosaurus? Phew, that's a big word, but it has to be big just like us. Imagine, we're in the same dino family with T-Rex. See all the sharp teeth? We're meat eaters, and our teeth help us chew even the toughest meat. I'm from what is now known as Alberta, Canada. So when I get fully grown, watch out. If you want to get big, you have to eat a good meal. And I've already called you for lunch four times. Yes, Mom. Gotta go eat. See you later. Carcharodontosaurus here in the late Cretaceous period, 110 million years ago. Car, chero, donto, saurus. It means jagged, shark-toothed dinosaur. And for good reason. These teeth are 20 centimeters long. Pretty scary, huh? Well, they will be, anyway. I've got a loose tooth. When it's out, I'm gonna be the happiest theropod ever. Theropod means beast feet, and there are lots of dinosaurs that belong to that family. Believe it or not, birds are in my family. Of course, T-Rex is the most famous theropod. But guess what? I'm just as big, if not bigger, than T-Rex. I'm 13 meters long! But I live in North Africa. Maybe if I don't wiggle it, it'll fall by itself. Maybe it won't be today. Out of my egg. <laughs> <laughs>